Welcome to Dude RV. This is the Swaggin'. YouTube, welcome to Dude RV. Here I am camped out at a Corps of Engineer property on Lake Texoma, and I had some folks roll in in a cargo trailer yesterday. I thought, well, that's kind of an odd thing to be camping in, but I have since been enlightened. This is not a cargo trailer. This is the Swaggin. The Swaggin for camping on the beach. And this is Chris, the proprietor of the Swaggin. Chris, you want to give us a little tour? I know this is a new project for you. You've only had it, what, a week? A month. A month. A little, little more than a week. And you've already started improving it. So give us a little tour of what you got going on. Yeah. Well, we're a month month in with it. Uh, it's the first trip out. We're actually out of Kansas, and so we made a bit of a trek down here to meet our friends. But we got an 18-foot wagon with a 3-foot nose for a 21 feet tip to tail. Um, 21 feet that's a lot of space a lot of space we're we're doing all right with what we got with it so far but we can see we got we've got a portable ac in there and it creates a pretty good vacuum on the door so we've got an extra handle for the kids to get in and that, that really impressed me Look, let's let's do this again listen to the air that's an air seal right there <laughs> so right now we've gotten done we've got the walls painted we got some flooring in here. We are got a queen bed back there on a platform with space for storage underneath it there. Flies are coming in. Oh yeah. We got, uh, got a bunch of cubbies up there for storage. It works, works pretty good now. Um, got our breaker box back there for a 120. Now were all of the wall units here when you purchased it? Nope. 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 You, you built these? We've done those. Yep. And are you in the trades? No, I'm not. I am a pipeline engineer for natural gas utility company by day and freelance as a, a tech writer for a website, Android Social. Okay. No experience in the building trades at all? Zero at all. Learning as you go. Learn as we go, tinker and just farm work and see what you can put together and what sticks and what doesn't. Cool. And you're planning on... So currently, with what we got up the nose here, we've got onboard water, but it's off board currently in the back of the truck and run lines over, but we're going to build up here build a little spot in here maybe put a shower that can double as the camp toilet bathroom but then build off of here and store water and put a little sink up here so you can wash hands and brush teeth or whatever you need in the, the nose of it so speaking of camp toilet let's let's see this this is not a ride on style this is a strictly storage okay <laughs> so you don't get to take a ride on the potty no no no, no, those, no. Those, okay. not, those are not load bearing <laughs> wheels you don't want to do that <laughs> that, that could be a surprise! So we got that, we got the queen bed there, then we got a little futon here for the kids. Pulls out and folds down so both the little kids can sleep on it. But future plans is to have a, a slide out style couch here with some storage underneath it maybe and then a fold down bunk that comes out of the top for future as the kids get a little bigger. But for now this this is getting it done. And that AC keeps it plenty cool in here. It does pretty good, yeah. Right. Let's let's go to the back and look at the bar. I mean the kitchen. <laughs> there is a shower and the blue pallets when you're on the beach are used for showering yep, correct keep the sand and water run off and it keeps a little, a little bit cleaner that's so smart i hate sand so there's a kitchen we got back here We've got is it a uh, kitchen or a bar yes yes <laughs> and most important dude rv that's right has been here we got our little fridge storage for the generator there uh, when we actually run, we'll roll it out and set it off on the side and get it away to keep the noise out. Sink, gray water tank down here for storage in that. Okay. We'll storage, keep little portable grills in there. A microwave. A microwave. A little all magic the, chef. All the amenities you need. And Talk you have, here. and you said you have a hot water heater. Yep. So we got a on-demand propane hot water heater we keep stored down here. Okay. And then when it's time for shower. This is another plan. We still got to get a external uh, water speed on here still, but when it's time to shower, 
stick this up here, pop that on there and hang the shower up on that. The water heater goes there. And the suction cup, little shower head holder there. And shower's ready to go. Put the blue shower and getting clean. And ready to go. And so we have a, a flex steel line, supply line for the water that runs out of here. And the question I have is, you ever been stuck on the beach? Not yet. It's gonna happen. It's bound, bound and determined to happen. That's why I say not yet. Not, Wise no. thing to say. <laughs> and, and we were talking earlier. You're having a little trouble with the weight distribution due to lack of space. Yep, yeah, got that short tongue on there. We got to figure out something to get some of that weight off of there. All right. Future plans. Chris and the swagging wagon. All right. Thank you for stopping by. Y'all come back now, you hear?